okay all right guys welcome once again to sipcom sis all right today i'm going to show you how to um capture packets within your eveng lab environment or your pnet environment right so let's get digging okay so let me show you uh, as you can see i have my pnet already powered on okay and then uh, this is my lab okay now you can see i have what two devices on okay the vpc and then a switch okay so if i would like to capture packet right uh, i'll just right click and then go to capture and then i'll select the port which the device is connected to then i'm going to capture now before you do this right um let me try capturing and then later we'll look at something so when i click on the port between uh, these two devices so it's going to scan so it's going to start capturing okay you can see it has started something right let me close this and then let me show you guys how to do this now before your wireshark can work with your pnet or your evng you need to go to the installation file where you install your evng client right if you don't know how to install the evng client i have it in my previous video okay explorer so you go to drive c uh, program file they look for EVENG folder okay now in this folder you can see we have here put this on is there there you have the wire shark so you right click and then you go for edit now this is what you should look out for you can see the username is root and my password is what evng make sure your username or password matches what your evng authentication so if uh, my password becomes evng let me save that save yes yeah, this is going to pop up anyway so i'm going to um, save on the okay let me save in my document yes replace all right so let me right click and then go for edit again so as you can see it's like the previous so let me um, I want to set it to default so uh, this is it so I'm going to copy this and then paste it in that particular folder okay replace yes okay so since this is done right i'll be coming back here so let me close this now let me capture the packet again so right click my switch capture i'm going to capture on this uh, port and then now you can see it's sending me what this very message it means it cannot uh, have access to that particular capturing so by default that is the message you'll be having so you need to go to your explorer this pc drive c program file evng and this particular file you change it to what your evng password or your pnet password so you can see here i have root and then my password is pnet so let me minimize this let me open this once more so i'm going to change this to what pnet so this is what i did before my wireshark was able to capture so save yes okay i'm going to save at the same place i have to copy the file into this particular environment so i have to go to my document 
and then copy the file to okay drive c program file EVENG so I'll paste it here I'm going to replace the file nice so now I can close so right now let me capture again okay so right click capture port click on link okay so now you can see I'll be able to capture right so let's look at something here uh, let me minimize this let me go to my uh, PC here take it take it some time all right so this is a virtual PC that you can use it a pin it is free it comes with the device don't worry one time I'll actually give you an overview of the interface right so um, I'll just uh, do show let's see show show it has no IP address so let me get an IP because I actually have a DSCP on my network so let me type that okay so you can see it has an IP so I can pause this caption so you can see pause you can see it has actually captured packet because I have a DSCP who offered my PC here an IP so you can see here it shows the offering and then everything you would like to capture on this particular interface you can so vice versa if you want to capture from the PC and you can do that so I can close this then uh, let me say so I'm capturing from the PC end so capture you see the port the cable is connected to and then your Wireshark will open so let me try and then ping my DSCP server Dot two five three. yep this should be it okay so so you can see whilst it's pinging the Wireshark is actually what capturing the information so you can see there's a ping request sent to a particular IP you can see that so this is a short video just to show you how you can use Wireshark to capture a packet right on your network if you want to do security on a capture packet you can do that all right so once again thank you guys for watching the video please 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 subscribe like the video you can share it as well Thank you so much.